the Sunday business page. Well, I've heard it all kinds of ways, but uh, no, this winter could be colder than with more snow than last winter. And that means that heating a home or apartment and paying your gas and electric bills could be more challenging this year. But there is help for those who qualify for economic assistance. It's time to sign up for the Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program, or LIHEAP. So what is LIHEAP? How does it work and how can you qualify? Well, we're so pleased to welcome two guests to the Sunday Business Page. Jacqueline Zamansky is Communications Specialist for Peoples. Mike Selup is Manager of Universal Services for Duquesne Light. Thanks to you and for all the work that Peoples and Duquesne and so many of our other utilities do to help folks who really need help during the winter. Now, as I said in the beginning, no one quite knows how cold this winter has been. I've heard it's going to be wetter and warmer. I've also heard that it's going to be colder than ever with more snow, particularly in the month of February. But regardless, it makes good sense, does it not, to sign up for LIHEAP now, Jackie? It definitely does. It's always good to be prepared because, as you're saying, we're not sure of, of the winter that we're going to have. But the low um, income energy assistance program will definitely be there to help people that would have struggle paying their utility bills. And how does the program work? How, what do you have to do to get energy assistance? Basically, there's many different ways that you can um, apply for it. Uh, you can apply. We, I know here at People's Natural Gas, we have it on our website. And then there's also, you can call 1-800-400-WARM. And that would definitely, someone will assist you with an application. And I think even just a family of four with an income of $36,000 could still qualify for, right. for assistance. So it's definitely something to look into. And Mike, I take it a lot of folks take advantage of this important program, don't they? They do. Um, I think the effort has been made to get the news out. But the surprising thing is that there are still people that don't know about it. That's why I think this is a great opportunity to get the word out. Right. Every year, even though it's been advertised and a lot of people take advantage of it, there are people that still don't know. So I appreciate the opportunity yeah. to be here and to, to help get well, the word it's, out. Well, it's an important program because we don't want to between heating or eating or their medicines or whatever. And the fact that utilities like yours take a lead in trying to make sure that people do take advantage of this program. I mean, this is money. Well, let me just ask you, I was looking at the figures from last year. 348,000 households across the state of Pennsylvania received $116 million in LIHEAP cash benefits. That's a lot of money. That money comes I gather primarily from the federal government. Um, do we know how, how things are going with the federal budget these days? Are we going to get the same amount of money coming up this year? Do you know? I think it's well. It's definitely it is a federally funded program. Um, I I think that over the years it's kind of you know it's fluctuated, but it's always been there and it's consistently been there. So I we definitely want to encourage people to sign up and apply and see if they are available to receive. It's a grant that will be automatically applied to your utility bill. So it's the fact of just signing up and feeling that the, the money is there and it is for the people that will qualify for it. So, yeah, go ahead, Mike. Well, one of the things early on when the season was beginning, there was talk that the season would be shortened. Um, there was a kind of a public outcry right. and so it actually ended up being extended. So instead of ending the end of March, it's going to go to April 6th. So I'm hoping that because they've extended it, right. that they will have the money. Well, that's part of the talk that you hear. I mean, this is where it gets so impossible. Here we are in early November trying to predict what it's going to be like in January, February, and March. But I mean, part of, some of the reports that I hear is that February and March could be much colder, much more wintry than it was in years past. And so you just don't know as you go into this, do you? You don't, but we know that it's going to be colder and darker than normal. And right. so that just means utility costs are going to go up. Yeah. And so for those people that are on the fringe that don't eat or don't use the medicine that they should, this is a great opportunity to supplement that. And by calling this number or going online, you mentioned a cash grant. I mean, essentially the way it works is that it would be applied against your utility bills so that you might get a zero utility bill for a particular month. Uh, how, was that, how would that work? It, it could. The, the cash grant is anywhere between $200 and $1,000. 
So that's figured out by some formula that um, the state and the county assistance office work out. Right. So once that applies, that does cover your current bill and is applied paying forward. So you may end up with two or three months where you don't have to make a payment if you get the cash grant. Let's repeat that again because anybody watching this who has a friend or family member or in the, find themselves in this predicament where they need energy assistance. And again, Jackie, you pointed out a family of four making $36,000 or less could qualify for this money that could just wipe out your utility bills. So I, I, is there a particular personal story that either one of you may have heard that, that has been particularly moving to you? on this whole LIHEAP program? I think. Well, you know what, uh, not a particular story, but here, I've been doing this since 1999. Right. Every year, we find people that live here in western Pennsylvania that don't know about this, that are either in the dark or living in the cold. Um, so I'm always amazed because you think, last year you heard the story, that's it. And then there'll be somebody this year that'll have a, a, another really sad story that just tops it. Yeah. And I was thinking also, I think Mike and I were speaking a little bit earlier, there are people out there that always think that there are other people that deserve this or need this more than themselves, and right. which is often the case, and that's why we really want to get the word out there and say right. it's definitely worth applying for and seeing if you qualify because it could help you compensate for medication or food or other things. Right. So. And who among us should turn down 200 to to $1,000 applied to our utility bills in the wintertime? So thank you so much for your leadership in this area. Thank you for what your companies are doing, and we appreciate very much. And let's spread the word, and all of us can do that by talking to our friends and neighbors about the important LIHEAP program. We'll be back with more.